As you know, the FX6 has always had amazing face eye detect autofocus that is nearly infallible when you're shooting human beings. But for most other subjects, things that are not people's faces, the performance of autofocus left a lot to be desired. But all that changes in version 2.0 with Sony's amazing AI-based real-time autofocus tracking. Now that's not Sony's official name for it, but touch tracking or subject tracking is the terminology I prefer to use. Now, all I have to do is tap anywhere on the touchscreen LCD to tell the camera exactly where I want it to focus, and it does so instantly. And then, the camera will continue to track that subject wherever it moves in the frame. Watch as I swing the camera around on this bird, and notice that the tracking box pretty much stays right in the same place. The camera's ability to track fast-moving subjects is nothing short of amazing, and it definitely makes my job easier, especially when I'm shooting wildlife or sports. Now, if you've already watched the rest of my 7-hour FX6 Masterclass, then you know that configuring the FX6 for autofocus isn't as simple as just flipping a switch and then starting to shoot. There are dozens of modes and dozens of customization options to choose from, and that's exactly why the Masterclass has a 30-minute chapter devoted just to the topic of focus. So I'm not going to waste time going over all that again. But if you feel like you need a quick refresher, please go back and watch Chapter 14 again. The good news is that even after the new firmware has been installed, all the information in that chapter is still valid and correct. But with that said, during the last 12 months of shooting more and more with the FX6 in a variety of different shooting situations, the settings I use on my camera and the shooting techniques I use have evolved to the point where I find myself relying on autofocus much more than I ever expected. And now, with the touch tracking features that have been added with Firmware 2.0, my shooting style has moved even further towards the use of autofocus. But not entirely. The focus switch on my FX6 is never set for autofocus. It is always set on the MF position so that I am in full control at all times. But with that said, I also have my FX6 configured so that I can activate autofocus instantly and let it take over whenever I choose and then jump back to manual focus just as easily. The ability to seamlessly go back and forth between full manual focus and full autofocus at the touch of a button is a game changer. In case you're interested, I'll share the details of my preferred focus menu settings and shooting techniques a little later. But for right now, let's just talk about the FX6's new touch tracking autofocus capability. It should go without saying that autofocus requires the use of a lens that has autofocus capabilities. And I will add that you're probably only going to get the best autofocus performance when you're using a Sony lens. Now I'll concede there might be a few third-party E-mount lenses that will work good enough, but you'll have to discover those on your own. I'm not in the business of doing lens reviews or testing, so if you're not using Sony E-mount lenses, your mileage may vary. If the AF-MF switch on the lens is set for autofocus, and the AF-MF switch on the camera body is set for autofocus, all you have to do is tap someplace on the LCD touch panel and the camera will focus on that part of the frame. The camera has always been able to do that, but the difference now is that if the subject moves, the camera will continue to track the object's movement. With the old firmware, the camera could only track human faces, but now it can track almost anything you want, including cars, boats, animals, and even humans when the camera has trouble seeing their face. There are dozens of ways you can customize how autofocus performs. So I'll hold down the menu button, go to the shooting tab, and then scroll down to the focus menu page. As I said, these menus are covered in chapter 14, so I'm not going to go through them all again. But I just wanted to quickly remind you about the transition speed menu. This allows you to customize how fast the camera changes focus when you tap on the touchscreen. For example, if you want to execute a nice, smooth rack focus from one subject to another in the middle of a shot, then you'd probably want to choose a lower number so that the change will be smoother and less abrupt. However, when you're shooting sports, wildlife, news, reality TV, or a documentary, usually you'll just want to get the camera focused on the subject as quickly as you can. So in those situations, you'd probably want to choose a faster setting. Personally, my camera is almost always set for 7, but your needs may be different than mine. Also, I should mention that subject tracking works across the entire frame, regardless of what zone you have selected with the focus area menu. 
If you have the Face Eye Detection menu set for either Only or Priority while you're using subject tracking, then the camera will automatically switch from the subject tracking mode over to the Face Eye Detect mode if it sees a human face come into the frame. That is an excellent feature of the FX6 because Face Eye Detect tracking will always perform better than subject tracking when you're shooting a human face. And here's further good news. Despite what the name implies, even if you have Face Eye only selected, the camera will still allow you to use subject tracking when there's no face in the frame. So that raises the question, is there any difference between face only and face priority? And the answer is yes. In my testing, I found that the camera is about 50% more sensitive to detecting and then locking onto a human face when face eye detect only is being used. On my camera, I usually have priority selected so the camera isn't so quick to abandon whatever object I'm already tracking. But if you don't want the camera to ever start tracking faces, then you should set the menu to off. Anytime you want to stop tracking a subject altogether, there are three primary ways of doing that. First, you could tap someplace on the screen to start tracking something else. Second, you could tap the gray box in the upper left corner. Or third, you can simply turn the focus ring on the lens as I will do now. And the camera will resume whatever focusing mode you were using before. So that's all pretty cool, but what if you don't want to run the camera in full autofocus mode? As I already said, I prefer to run my FX6 in a hybrid mode where I'm using manual focus most of the time, but I can still trigger autofocus anytime I want at the touch of a button or the LCD screen. To use the hybrid mode, you have to have the AF-MF switch on the lens set for autofocus and the AF-MF switch on the camera body set for manual focus. Now let's jump back to the menus. If you've had your FX6 for a while, all these focus menus should look familiar with one exception. Down towards the bottom, Firmware 2.0 has added a new menu called Touch Function in Manual Focus. As the name implies, the setting of this menu only makes a difference when the AF-MF switch on the camera's body is set for MF. There are two options, Tracking AF or Spot Focus. If you choose Spot Focus, the autofocus will work just like it has from day one on the FX6. When you tap someplace on the LCD screen, the camera will quickly focus on that subject and then stop focusing. If the camera or the subject moves, the focus won't do anything to compensate, and the subject will likely go out of focus. So there's nothing particularly special about spot focus. The one you're going to want to choose is tracking AF. This is the focus mode most professionals have been dreaming of for decades. Now I have the best of both worlds. I can run the camera on full manual focus most of the time, notice the MF icon up in the corner, but I can tap the LCD screen anytime I want to switch over to subject tracking. Now the icons in the corner have changed. Technically, I'm not in the manual focus mode anymore, and all I had to do was tap the touchscreen to activate autofocus. How much simpler can it be than that? I can end subject tracking the same way as before by tapping someplace else on the screen to tell the camera to track something else, or I can tap the gray box in the corner, or I can simply turn the focus ring on the lens and instantly I'm back in the full manual focus mode where I have 100% control and I don't have to be concerned that the lens will suddenly start focusing on its own, which is always a problem when the camera is running in the full autofocus mode. Now, before we move on to other topics, let me tell you about another unexpected upgrade to the focusing system that Sony quietly slipped in with the new firmware. In the past, face eye detect could not be used at the same time as clear image zoom, but now that is possible. Even subject tracking can be used simultaneously with clear image zoom.